Divine Mercy Sunday Year A In the first reading in Acts 2, we learn that Jesus' disciples devoted themselves to the teaching of the apostles and to the communal life of prayer and sharing possessions. This is mercy in action. This teaching and communal practice embodies the corporal and spiritual works of mercy in feeding the hungry, giving drink to the thirsty, clothing the naked, instructing the ignorant, and counselling the doubtful. These are the deeds advocated by the divine mercy of Jesus. It is also through God's mercy that in the second reading, St. Peter says we have faith. Although you have not seen him, you love him. Even though you do not see him now, yet believe in him, you rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy as you attain the goal of your faith, the salvation of your soul. God's enduring mercy enables us to love, believe, rejoice and be saved despite not seeing God. In today's Gospel, St. John narrates Jesus breathing the Holy Spirit on the disciples. Many of them had abandoned Jesus during his passion, death and resurrection. The precious gift of the Holy Spirit is poured out for all of us today too, even though we are not always faithful to God. Thomas' doubting of Jesus appearing to the other di disciples did not meet the admonition but with his merciful love. Jesus lovingly invited Thomas to put his finger in the wound in his side and believe beyond doubt. Today, Jesus calls us to unwavering faith as well, casting all doubt aside as doubt is the antithesis of faith. Let's reflect on the boundless mercy of God. His mercy endures. God has been so merciful to us through the years, through this year, through the day today. We love you and thank you, God, for your divine mercy. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, enkindle our faith and increase your grace in us. May we believe in you and lead a communal life of the corporal and spiritual works of mercy. Jesus, Breathe the Holy Spirit upon us to guide us. We need your Holy Spirit. Amen.